Hey guys, I'm Sean from Scala Studios. So today in this tutorial, we will be making this real simple animation loop in EV, and it's a seamless animation as well. And the second animation is the same thing in a different angle with an error modifier. So it won't be so hard for you guys to do it. And so this is the second animation. It's just the same animation in a different angle. So let's get on with it um, so we'll start by deleting everything in the scene and adding a circle tap into edit mode and select proportional editing and drag the bottom vertices down and change the rotation in the y-axis to about 45 degrees and duplicate it s y minus 1 and rotate it minus 45 degrees and Align it with the top one and join the two uh, circles together. And select the top two vertices and Alt M to join them together. And select those top vertices again and go to select proportional editing and smooth those two together. It doesn't matter how, how it looks in the side actually um, because we won't be looking at it from the side anyway so and add a subdivision surface modifier and when you and right click to add shade smooth but then you'll see the normals have been flipped because we duplicate the same mesh and flipped it so select those vertices and press alt n and flip normals and there you go go back to top view and select the object and select origin to geometry shift s and select cursor selection to cursor and go back into edit mode and add some loop cuts with ctrl r and we'll add our shaders now so we're going to add two emission shaders and one normal black shader so i'm gonna make my first emission shader a blue shader and the second one is going to be a yellow or an orange color and the last one is just a principal shader with a black color select those and assign those shaders I'm gonna add my camera and place it on top and select it and add an array modifier and I'm going to I'm gonna deselect relative offset and add object offset and add an empty to the scene and select the empty I'm going to add about 40 count and now you have your loop so you can play with the angles and you get a nice animation and we are going to edit mode we're going back to edit mode and selecting the top three edges and I'm going to add a few shape keys just move it add another shape key and move add another shape key and move it and add another shape key and move it and now you have about three shape keys which we are going to use to animate the scene I'm going to make the world view black and add a background plane as well and add a material to it and make it a full glossy metallic material I'm going to setting adding loom and screen space reflection on and now I'm going to add my keyframes I'm going to make my scene about 200 frames and go to the first frame and make it zero and I 
right click and add a keyframe go to 50 frames and right click and add a keyframe again just to make it seamless I'm going to the 170th frame and the last frame add, adding two keyframes there as well and now I'm going to play with my shape keys and right click and animate them as well so by right clicking and animating them uh, the way you like you can get a real nice animation so you guys can see I'm just playing with my shape keys I'm just gonna be playing with my shape keys and you guys can get really cool animation with it so just keep playing and do whatever you like and change play with the camera angles as well and I'm going to, I'm increasing the strength of my light my emission shaders and you guys can get a cool animation just like this so I hope you guys enjoyed this video so like and subscribe and share this video and if you guys make this animation don't forget to share this with me and yeah so thanks again for watching this video so see you in the next one